Hello, boys and girls, it's Fog. Welcome back to Fog's World. This is episode 30, and somebody has made a big mess near my silverfish cannery. What is this? Oh, that's right, it was me. Yeah, this is looking really ugly, but there's a method to my madness. All of this dirt is temporary, and what it is, is it's a channel. For the silverfish. We're going to let them out and we're going to lead them all the way along this little path. And we have a couple of little drops like this so that they can go this far and can't go back since they can't jump up two blocks. Here's another one. So we're going to release all those silverfish and lead them down this merry path through here and boom down here. Over here can't affect wood. We're okay there. We're okay. So this is all materials that they can't infect. We're going to lead them all the way over here and out into this area here. And this, my friends, is a slime chunk. Actually, between this square and that square and that one and that one is a slime chunk. There's actually a slime chunk over there as well. And there's a slime chunk back there as well. Oh, hey, guy. What are you doing back there? Ah, he got stuck. Doop. All right, so all of this area in here, this is all a slime chunk. What I've done here is I've dug a channel around this slime chunk with leaving a couple of blocks on either side, dug a channel all the way down to bedrock, and filled that channel in with sand. So sand can't be infected by silverfish, and uh, so we're going to lure all those guys into here. I'm going to get them to infect all of these blocks. And then we're going to see what we can do. See, uh, see if we can use them as miners. I'm going to try and clear this slime tr chunk out all the way down to bedrock. Why? Because we can. All right, I've also wanna, I also also want to clear out the ceiling here a little bit. So I have a little bit of flint and steel. I have some TNT in the ceiling. And, uh, what do you say we set it off? <laughs> see what we get. Oh, no chain reaction. I wanted a chain reaction. They might be too far apart for that. We'll see. Ah, apparently they're too far apart for a chain reaction. That's okay, I can do it this way. So much fun. These guys are just too far apart, aren't they? Oh well. action going there. should be in business soon. All right, let's clean up here. We need to raise this sand wall a little bit higher before we're ready to let them in here because I do not want them to escape. So let me get busy doing that and uh, we'll talk to you again when we're ready to give this a try. 
Okay, we should be ready to give this a whirl. Just about, anyway. Alright, hopefully I haven't messed this up. <laughs> hopefully this is going to work. I make no promises. This is definitely an experiment. In fact, this is so experimental, I think I ought to save the game before I give this a try. So let me do that. I'm going to save the game so that in case this goes horribly awry, I'll have a backup. All right, game saved. Now, if I calculate this correctly, we're actually going to need three full rooms of silverfish to coat that entire ceiling. <laughs> So, this is, uh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. We need to let all these guys out. Is that everybody? Is that everybody? Oh, yeah, that's everybody. Okay. All right, here's where it gets interesting, people. Step one. Ah, I'm a little nervous. Open the door. Don't you come up here. <laughs> come on, everybody. Come on. Oh, you can do it. Come on over here, guys. Oh, look at them all. <laughs> I don't know about you, but this makes me a little nervous. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Look at them all. I want to get as many of them in here as I can because I don't want them to despawn. I have to keep them kind of close to me. Come on, guys. Get in here. You know, I think maybe I want one of these on the bar. Come on, guys. Everybody over here. Come on, everybody into the pool. Yeah, their pathfinding is not the greatest. And they seem to be taking a little bit of damage. I'm not convinced they're not able to get through there, but we'll find out. Oh, that's not good. Get down, get down, get down, guys. You can't climb up there. You do not have my permission to climb up there. <laughs> Get you over the hump here. Come on, guys. Look at them all. Holy cow. Come on, I know there's more of you than that. Come on, guys. What's the hold up? Here we go. This might have been a little easier if I'd used glass, but I didn't want to have them. You know, I didn't. I didn't want to use any materials that was kind of expensive. I wanted to go really cheap. Oh, there's still some in there. Definitely difficult to move this many of them. Not easy at all. Got everybody from back here. I think I got them all. I think I got them all. Assuming none of them died along the way, and that's a pretty big assumption. Oh, we got a few stragglers. Come on, guys. Come on. 
stick with me, okay? Keep tracking me, guys. Keep tracking me. I think they're all over the hump. That's right, guys. Come on. Some of these guys should spread out and start to infect things now. Come on, guys. Don't just sit there taking damage like a bunch of fools. Come on. <laughs> Look at them all wandering around. Once we get them over the lip, we should be good. See, I got one there. Do I have any more back here? I don't think there are any more back here. I think we got them all through there. It's always a straggler, isn't there? Come on, Pokey, get in here. Alright, let me give some distance between me and them here. While I'm here, might as well collect some materials. Oh, I should be up high enough now. It seems like I am. Yeah, they've gone into wander mode. Well, guys, tell you what, I'm going to do a lot more of this off camera. Uh, you don't want to watch all of these guys come in here slowly one at a time. How boring is that? But I will do it, and uh, I will be back. All right. So I now have three rooms worth of silverfish in here. Three storage rooms full. That's a lot of silverfish. At 180 silverfish blocks per room, that's a lot of silverfish in there. It's more silverfish than can be absorbed. Obviously, I made a couple of changes since we last talked. I did decide to go ahead and put glass over all this after all because it just made it so much easier to get them up here. Now, I'm going to give us some distance here. And one more about to do the trick. Let them spread out a bit. And do their thing. Now, um, why am I doing this? Well, of course, the number one reason why I'm doing this is because why not? It's fun. Uh, the other reason is because uh, one of one of our viewers, I can't remember which, I'm very sorry, but one of our viewers asked, "Well, what are what's a silverfish farm good for anyway? What can you do with a silverfish cannery?" Well, the obvious answer is uh, one storage room full of silverfish will get you all the way up to level 30. And that's a very good reason. But another less obvious thing is you can use them as diggers like this. Now, is this an efficient use of it? An uh, efficient way to dig? No. No, not even remotely. This was a heck of a lot of work to, just to get this far, and I haven't even really started digging. But it's just... A fun silly thing to do okay I need to get a bunch of potions now I have a I have moved a bunch of potions into these chests over here so let me get over here um, right here we want a bunch of poison potions there we go that's a few poison potions don't you think let me get back up away from these guys again. I want them to spread out on me again. 
All right, and let's see exactly how many blocks we've infected with silverfish, shall we? <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh, there have to be more than that. Surely there are more than that. There we go, there we go. Keep going, guys. Now we should have so many silverfish here that they should almost immediately re-enter the blocks. <laughs> I just hope I have enough poison potions to go all the way down. I can't promise that. Yeah, you end up with all these blocks up here that don't have silverfish on them, which is a bit of a problem. We are definitely going to have some cleanup to do. Yes, it is dark down there. There's a creeper down there, too. All right, let's see. Excellent. I didn't get enough of them. There we go. Bingo! <laughs> now that's fun. <laughs> Alright, at this point I'm nearing the bottom, but I've run out of poison potions, and so from this point on, I have to resort to angering them by punching them.
All right, boys and girls, I have been at this for close to two hours now. And uh, I'm reaching bedrock. That's good. And I think it's time. I'm, I'm out of uh, poison potions. I have been for a while. I've been having to kill them by hand. And uh, at this point, all I can do is kill them off. And that ought to actually be somewhat effective at this point, I think. So let's uh, let's gather some together and we will kill them. Let's see if I can get a little pool of them beneath me. The more I can get beneath me, the better. Come on, guys, over here. I'm over here. All right, let's see what we get. I did not summon very many. Not as effective as I had hoped. Okay, well, let's do this. Ah, here we go. Here is a bunch of them. I think what we need to do is just slowly work our way around here and kill as many as we can here. Yeah, that was not too bad. Okay. There we go, there we go. Not completely ineffective. Not as effective as I would like it to be. But it does work. I cannot count the number of times that that has happened. <laughs> we gotta get rid of that sand down here. Ooh, lava. Okay, that'll work. This one I don't think I can get to. All right, well, we'll let it be. almost out of uh, harm potions as well. Ah, cleaning up this mess is going to be tricky. <laughs> One left. <laughs> okay, well, we're reduced to killing the rest by hand. That uh, is not going to be a fun task. <laughs> Well, I think we've got most of them at this point. There are still a few down there, but not very many. Not very many at all. Um, now, <laughs> if anyone ever asks you <laughs> if mining with silverfish is an effective 
an effective plan, you can point them to this video. And <laughs> you can say that without a doubt, while it works, <laughs> it is not effective. <laughs> it is very slow. It is very, very ineffective. But it does work. We've gotten down to bedrock. We've left all the minerals behind. Got most of them. So there's still a few silverfish down here. But I think we got most of them. Well, I'll clean up and then we'll talk some more. Well, boys and girls, if you've ever wondered what it looks like when a slime chunk has been picked clean down to the bedrock by silverfish, this is it. I've left pretty much all the minerals intact. Uh, anything that silverfish wouldn't eat is still here, except for some gravel and some dirt, which I've removed in order to keep them from getting at me while I was removing them. But for the most part, you're looking at a pretty representative sample of what you can expect to find where. I left everything where I found it. Pretty cool, though. Um, I don't recommend mining like this. No. No, I really don't. This took forever. And it was most certainly not efficient. Oh. Ah! Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Threw me into the wall. Okay. But yeah, I got some cleaning up to do, don't I? There's some diamond in there, some gold, a lot of iron. But that's a job for another day. At some point I'd like to try this experiment again, but I think if I were to do it again, I would do it with a much smaller cross section. Instead of doing a 20 by 20 section, I think I'd stick to more like a 10 by 10, because then I think the potions would uh, be more likely to hit all of the silverfish, and it wouldn't take nearly as many of them. Anyway, Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hitting that like button. I hope this satisfied your curiosity as it did mine. And I will see you next time.